Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to explain you the difference between switches, between one-way, two-way and three-way switch, and also between one, two or three gang switches. And also I'm gonna talk about the single pole and double pole um, isolators. So as you see I've got uh, three different switches here. Uh, also got buttons that controls the light in the middle. So this switch with one button is a one gang switch. This switch with two buttons in the middle uh, is two gang switch. And the switch with a three, uh, three buttons is a three gang switch. Now when you turn it over, you will see they are also different at the back. So basically each button on this side has got one section on this side. So this one has got one section. This one has got two sections. Maybe it looks like one, but they completely separate. This three terminals in one section, and this three terminals in this is another section. The same with the free button, free gang switch. See these lines? This separates the sections. And each section controls set of lights of completely different locations. So basically, when you switch this off, this controls this section. When you switch this off, this controls this section. They not they don't they are separate and they, they don't touch each other. So gangs means buttons in the middle of the plate. Now the ways means um, from how many ways or how many locations you can control one light of one set of lights. So for example, this, but, uh, this switch is a one gang, one way switch. And this switch is a one gang, two way switch. If you can see the difference, I tell you. Here it looks exactly the same, but on the other side, the one way switch has got just two terminals. So you can connect just uh, one wire from basically two wires, but it's uh, a permanent life and switch life. So two wires from one location. So this can control when you switch it on and off just one light at one location or set of lights. And this switch has got three terminals, as you see. So you can control when you use two of this and you link it together, you can control the same light of set of lights from two different locations. And also quite important thing, there's the one-way switch. Obviously you connect uh, the wires into here, so permanent life to the COM, um, switch life to the L1. And the two-way switch, This, if you connect just these two wires, it can work as a one-way switch. So basically you just don't put anything in, in the two-way or L2, you connect the permanent life to COM, and the switch life to one way and then it works as a one way switch. So now I'm gonna explain you a bit clear. So let's take off this. So this we agree is two ways one gang two way switch. This is one gang two way switch as well. So these two are exactly the same as one of this. So basically these two one gang two way switches do the same job as this two gang two-way switch. Just uh, you have to imagine these two are squeezed into one plate. When you turn it over you see this one's got one section and this section is let's say this one. When you turn it over this also it's got one section and this section is here. And the same with the free gunk two-way switch. You have to imagine you've got exactly the same uh, one gang two way switches. So these three are squeezed into one plate because when you turn it over, you've got three sections. Each of these switch behind's got one section. So it's, they do just this plate do the same job as these three switches. Just as convenient to have it on one plate. So once more. Uh, one with one gunk, one with switch. 
it's got just two terminals and this can control one light of set of lights from one location. One gang two-way switch, it's got three terminals and when you join, when you link two together, you can control the same light or set of lights from two different locations. Now, three-way switching, it means you can switch on and off one light or set of lights from three different locations. So to do it, you need to use uh, three switches. Uh, these two on the sides are two-way switches, and this one is an intermediate switch. It's got, as you see, four terminals in it. So you just place it in between these two in some different locations and then you can control one light of set of lights. If you want four-way switches, you use two of these in between the two-way switches. There's no such a thing like a one-gang three-way switch. Three-way switching, you need to use all three uh, switches. I hope I explain you everything quite clearly so now you can buy the right switch. Now I'm gonna talk about the single pole and double pole uh, sockets. So in here we've got double socket outlet. You can buy both single pole socket outlet or double pole socket outlet. The difference is at the switch. You've got two small switches here. So basically when you buy single pole socket outlet so the switch disconnect only the uh, live terminal from the socket outlet. If you buy double pole socket outlet, so the switch uh, disconnects both live and neutral terminals. A good example of a uh, one pole switch is a one one gang one way switch uh, because you can connect it only the live wire here. So this disconnect uh, just the just the live wire, not the neutral. The fan isolator is a triple pole uh, switch. It isolates uh, three wires connected to it. So when you turn it over, you see it's got six terminals, three on the load side, three on the supply side. Uh, you connect it neutral, uh, switch life and the life. <coughs> so when you switch it off, it disconnects all of them at the same time. So there's no um, power at the extractor fan and then you can easily maintain it or disconnect it. A good example of double pole switch is the main switch at the consumer unit. You see it's got neutral and uh, live cables going into it. So when you switch it off, this disconnect both the live and the neutral. So DP or double pole means this disconnect both neutral and the live. And SP or single pole means this disconnect only the live wire. Thank you for watching. I always try to explain you uh, in the easiest way I could. Um, so if you like my videos and you think they are quite helpful, please subscribe to my channel.